So I've already done a video on integration, but there's a few further things that you need to know about it as well. Some more advanced stuff that will come up in the core two papers. One of this is when you integrate above and below the um, x-axis. So if we look at this curve here, which is a cubic curve, if we um, treat this as an area one and an area two, when you integrate, it will um, cancel out uh, this part with this part because um, this thing's negative and this area is positive. So it won't add the two together, it'll subtract them instead. So if we're integrating between three and zero, total area will come out as A1 minus A2, as A2 is negative. So to find the total area, if we're not just integrating, if it tells us find the total area under the curve, then we want um, to add the two areas together instead. So to do that, you have to break down the curve into its two sections, between 0 and 2, and between 2 and 3. So we integrate between 3 and 2 first, then integrate between 2 and 0, and we make a2 positive, it's going to get a negative value, so we make it positive instead, and then add the two together. So I'm not going to go through an example for this, because um, if you've seen the other video, if you've practiced it a lot, you know how to integrate. So you know how to find a2 and a1, um, but you just need to be able to break down the problem and solve it as such. The next thing you need to know is how to integrate about the y-axis. So um, you can integrate about the x-axis, that's easy, but what if um, it's told us to find the area between 3 and 1 on the y-axis and the curve y equals root of x minus 2. So <clears throat> if we integrate a function x with respect to x, then it's written as integral f of x dx, but here we're integrating a function of um, a function with respect to y, so it would be dy instead. And it says we got we have to have a function of y. So here we've got a function of x. To get a function of y, we want to um, change this. So instead of being in terms of y, we have uh, sorry. Instead of being y in terms of x, so instead we have x in terms of y. So to do that, we need to make x the subject of the equation. So we we'll just go through that. You've got y equals root of x minus two square everything, which gets us y squared equals x minus 2. And that means you can write it as um, x equals y squared plus 2. And that, this bit here, y squared plus 2, is your function of y. So you integrate that with respect to y and sub in the limits. So again, I'm not going to go through the example because you should know how to do it. Um, but you just need to be able to get to the point where you can do it. And once you've done that, it's a straightforward integration. Um, another way of doing it, I wouldn't um, particularly fancy doing it this way because it um, won't necessarily come out as nice. And having a square root here isn't nice to deal with either, but you can find out the x value at this point. Um, the x value at this point integrate with respect to x and do some geometry to find um, what this area is if you um, if you were able to work out what this area is between that point but again it's not worth doing you have to use a lot of um, difficult geometry to solve it so it's better to write an equation in terms of y and um, then integrate that with respect to y and sub in the limits on the y-axis So if you've got any questions, um, then just comment them below or send me a message. If there's anything else you want me to cover that I haven't covered in my other videos so far, then um, again, send me a message and I'll try and go through it as soon as possible. Any specific questions from an exam paper you've looked up as well, then just tell me and I'll try and find a solution to them.